Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I ran across a website that's kind of interesting. It's not spectacular, but it's interesting, and I always like to share websites um, that are related to radios and shortwave radio and scanners and stuff like that. And I found one. I don't remember how. I found it last week in course i was sick and i i don't remember what happened last week it's all a blur but i what i do do is what i do do <laughs> what i do is um, when i find an interesting website i either save it as a bookmark or i leave it open till i can decide what i want to do with it well luckily i left it open so it was still open on my other computer and i want to show it to you just briefly it's not a big deal but it's it looks interesting and i'll let you decide on your own do you think it's any good or not anyway here it is the website is smeter.net I, like i say, i don't remember probably in one of my users groups that i watch somebody mentioned this website or something and the original link was to and what i'll show you right now but anyway the intent of this website is to provide information for ham radio operators and listeners and shortwave listeners and things like that. And it has a wealth of information um, about all kinds of subjects. As you can see over here on the right hand side, this is all the sub pages that it has. And uh, like I said, this um, this is based around the fact that this gentleman has a shortwave radio on the air, well, on the internet that you can listen to and control. And there's a couple other ones that have joined it. So let's just go to online receivers. Okay, here we are. So there are one, two, three, four, five online receivers. Not a big deal, but they're different than other ones. And most of them are in the United States, with the exception of the one that's in Saudi Arabia. It's kind of interesting. Um, but the one that caught my eye was the one in Newport, Oregon. Now, the reason that's of interest to me, because I'm always trying to hear stations across the Pacific, or even even boats and stuff in the Pacific. So this gives me an advantage that I can see if this particular person, his radio will pick up things that I am not hearing here, but if I can identify that he, his radio is hearing him, then I could try harder and, you know, change things, change antennas, change receivers, and see if I can hear it. Okay. So you have the option to either listen to it or listen and control. Let's go for the Big Bang and see if we can listen and control. Okay, there's the uh, there's the interface. Here is a um, a little plot of the real time signal strength, and you have to all you have to do is hit the play button here, and it's running. I say it's running. Maybe there's a little delay there. Oh, I know why it is. I can't hear it because I turned my volume down because I stopped. I had that recording playing, and uh, let's stop the recording. There it is. And now we can go back, and I can turn the volume up. And there we go. I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear the ticks. I had. Let me stop. Let me turn the sound down for a second. There it is. Okay. Um, I had tuned previous to starting this recording to WWV to see if I could hear WWV on this radio. Uh, of course. This radio is located in Oregon, so it's a little closer to 
the transmitter, WWV transmitter, than I am. Uh, I have not yet myself turned on my radio to see if I can hear WWV. Matter of fact, I could do that right now. Let's yeah, see if everything's hooked up here. That's hooked up, that it's hooked up. Turn the radio on, turn tune to WW. Whoops. Uh, the wrong button there. Uh, we turn my volume up. Where is the volume button? And make sure I get the. Okay, I am hearing nothing. Which doesn't surprise me. Okay, and we turn that, my radio back down. Um, I'm, I'm not surprised. I don't hear anything by the fact that uh, conditions are not that good. It is 445 Eastern Daylight Time in the afternoon. So that doesn't surprise me. But, like I said, what I can do with this is, you know, I can see, is it really, you know, is anybody receiving it? Well, apparently this station is receiving it, but I'm not. So that's kind of one of the things I use these radios that are on the Internet for. So that's just one thing you can do. Um, let's go back to the home page. I won't go through everything, but there's a lot of stuff here. You can watch uh, NASA TV. He has a NASA TV viewer. And if my computer will wake up, oh, there we go. And uh, this should be, I think this is live streaming. Crew vehicles coming online, so. Yeah. Dynamic time to see the, the physical vehicles coming back and forth. But then now, again, let me stop this. Research, but you should... Again, you can go to the NASA TV website and watch it there, but. The point I'm trying to make is all this stuff is in on this one website with links to all these things that are available. It's got antenna design. Let's just go to that for a few seconds. So here's some discussion about antenna design. And he has all those things that are in blue are links. Uh, let's see. Here's a simple dipole. So you could click on that. There's a more detailed article on um, dipoles. So, and then here's now here's all the things he's got under this one topic of antennas. Look at it, man. He's he's got all. Let's just uh, mm, uh, simple receiving loops. I'm always fascinated by those. There's another article. Now well, let's see if he's got anything on propagation, which I I still don't understand. Yep, he's got page on propagation. He's got some websites you can go to. He's got a, a, dis a link to a discussion on sunspot cycles. And then here's some actual programs you can run. So, this, like I say, there's a wealth of information on this website. Again, the website is simply smeter.net. All lowercase all it takes to get to it and I thought I would take the time to show it to you uh, again I'll let you uh, go through all these possibilities there's electronics discussion of electronics circuits just all kinds you know it's really a uh, an, an interesting and good uh, reference website so if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.